What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports. You got Brody and Silver Sage back with another exciting video. Sage, did you ever see these in your days of collecting? No, never seen these. What What are we looking at? Here's the thing, Sage. You know what I like to do sometimes. I like to give buy, MJ Holding uh, more money. You're going to say buy everything on the Target shelves. That's also very accurate, <laughs> but I don't know why. Why do I like repacks? I don't know why. These are bad. Bad Brody. But I see it. It's a new product. It's got Steph Curry. It's fancy. It was hanging. And I was like, I have to try this out. So these are 2022-2023 Prism Basketball three factory sealed packs. I don't think it's a so repack. Get, uh... Well, it's MJ Holdings, so that's how you know it's a repack. Oh, but it's not... Um... The collectible products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer, and then they repackage it. Yeah. So... There's two different types of repacks, to be clear. This is a repack, but the repack that I was thinking about is somebody... A who... repack of a repack? Yeah. <laughs> a double repack. Those are bad. Yes. This one, you can still pull some fire. You can still pull some... Th we bought these. You can see here. I sometimes write it on here so I don't forget. Yeah. These we bought for fifteen bucks. I support it. So, we just need a couple. So of my rookies. guess is, my guess, Sage, is they got these from a blaster. Mm -hmm. Six packs in a blaster. You know, they might have gotten it for twenty dollars, and so then they take three packs, put it in one of these, sell it for fifteen. Take three packs, put in the other one. So now they, you know, they sell it for thirty dollars. It's twenty to them, thirty dollars to us. Yeah. So there's three. Should I just open them all at once? Mm, sure. Maybe. This is maybe we'll do two at a time. So this is 2022, 23. So this is the Paulo Banchero year, right? That's who we're going after. Yeah, Paulo. And then you know Jalen Williams, Jabari Smith Jr., Jaden Ivey, Benedict Matherin. So that's what a uh, that looks pretty, guys. That might be the thumbnail. Yeah. That's um, that's what the uh, normal blaster box. Did you have two of them me. or three of them? I couldn't tell. I have four. Four. Okay. How many are we opening? I've, we're opening all four. Oh, well, then pop them all. I just asked that, and you yeah. said no. Yeah. You kind of were. I was looking well, at this one. Look how much dust is on these. That's how you know you're <laughs> They've been on the on shelf for a while. Shells forever. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh. I was looking I at the rookie, Kel I was looking at the rookie list and uh, I was thinking how big of a baller Paulo Banchero is turning into. He had some sick crossover moves, split 17 defenders, and then dunk it. The other day. Your boy's nasty too, Anthony Edwards. Oh, I love that Anthony guy's had Edwards. some insane, insane plays. We need to open 2020 NBA soon and just hunt some ant rookies. <laughs> the guy had the block of the season hitting his head on the flipping backboard, <laughs> game winning block. I love ant. Oh, here, let's look at this real quick. We got uh, we got four cards per pack. We're looking for silvers, ruby wave, green. You can pull pink pulsars number to 42. Uh, you can pull autographs, penmanships. All right. Rookie, rookie autos. And then a bunch of inserts that are also different prisms as well. So it looks like the best thing you can pull from here is an auto or a pink pulsar numbered to 42. So let's get a pink pulsar Apollo, right. shall we? If I see pink, I'm freaking out. Yes. All right. D'Angelo Russell starts us off. Terry Rozier. Yep. Uh, instant impact of Jaden Ivey. One of the top You're guys. Just talking about this guy. And TJ Warren. Right. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you guys like these repacks? Do you think this was stupid of me to buy? Are we much better off just buying the actual blasters or hobby what do you guys boxes? Think? I guess. Oh, I don't man, like this you're... this design. First off, we got to do our normal comments. Well, let's talk about design. it. It's too squarey and there's too much action going on. 
You don't like as all this stuff? It is too much. It feels overwhelming. Oh, the back's a little aggressive too. I agree. Look how off-centered that is too. Holy smokes. It takes too much away from the card. I mean, this background's terrible too, but... Look at the 17 borders. Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, I see what you're saying. There's too much too much stuff going. We do have a silver in here, Sage. Ooh. We will save it to the end. And... I don't know where the rookie is on this. Well, it's Michael Porter Jr. I still don't know where the rookie is because... That wasn't a rookie card. Yep. All right, we're going to pull from the right stack. <laughs> yeah. We're going to pull from the right stack. Left has the, been uh, one more thought on dusty. One more thought on my guy, Anthony Edwards, as you pull him. I was literally going to yes. say that before you saw it. This guy's a monster. Is His interviews Ooh, his interviews are so funny. Oh, there's a rookie. They asked him one time, like, what were you seeing out there? He said it was all a mismatch. Every, th every single thing was a mismatch. It was hilarious. <laughs> uh, Paulo? Uh, oh, D'Angelo Russell okay. on the green. He's nice. That is cool. Cool card. When the I want to see his pink. I want to see his pink pulsar stage. When the Lakers drafted D'Angelo Russell, my roommate at the time was a big Lakers fan. Did he think it was game over? He thought it was game over. He was so exciting. And uh, what was his? Uh, what's his nickname? D'Lo. Wait. Is it D'Loading? D'Loading. I don't know. Let me look up his nickname. But, I think uh, it's deloading. Dalen Terry? I don't know about this cat. Dalen Terry. D-Lo okay. is his nickname. Yeah. Oh. Are um, you sure it's not deloading? Why am I thinking of deloading? I don't know. Like he's deloading. Oh, yeah, no. Nicknames D'Angelo, D-Lo, and deloading. Okay. Yeah, You're right. Okay. We're both right. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ruby. Ruby wave. Ruby sighting. I don't know how rare Ruby is, but it's we haven't pulled one yet. Malachi. So the rookie's in the top right. Not a rookie. Spurs. Wimby. <laughs> Josh Richardson. Oh, that's a cool card, though. So that's the that Ruby wave. Cool. Not numbered. Ruby wave, though. Cool looking card. All right, so let me finish my D'Lo story. Uh, so I got him a D'Angelo Russell jersey. What a great roommate Lakers. I am. And okay. uh, he wore it that year, and then the wheels came off. Anyways, eight years later, fast forward, I get a random text from him, and he's chilling in his D'Lo jersey Lakers that I got him eight years ago, and it's just him smiling. I checked the news, and the Lakers signed him back. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulled the jersey back out, and I was dead <laughs> oh, <laughs> when I saw that text. That's a fan right there. <laughs> I bought my uh, I bought my first NBA jersey today. Oh, Luca! You'll never guess. We we oh we we see. <laughs> no, 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 the car didn't sell for a hundred dollars. I didn't have what to buy What was his name? Wang Zhi Zhi. Yes. Okay. Wang Zhi So not Luca, not Wang Zhi He plays for the he plays for the Bulls. Oh. Mac mm, McLaurin. And he used to play for the Lakers. Um oh, white guy headband. Yes. Yeah. Caruso. Yes. Why? Why him? Yes. So one of the podcasts I listened to I listened to is called The Yak. Okay. It's uh, one of Barstool's podcasts, and they have a thing called the Gauntlet, where you basically do a cornhole, a soccer shot, a home run. You got to hit a bottle off with a football. You got to make two basketball shots, and then you have to do some trivia. And he was in town doing the part of my take, which is like a huge podcast. And uh, he swung by, and he's like, yeah, I'll do it, and did it, sat down, seemed like a really cool cat. And I was like, this guy's sick. And so I tweet out just saying, after watching the Yak today, I became an Alex Caruso fan. Sure. And then he responded saying, my man. And I was like, oh, I got it. I mean, I got to buy it. I got to buy his now jersey. you got to wear his jersey on our next basketball opening. Yeah, I don't know when it's supposed to come in. Mm -hmm. Three-day shipping, I think I got. Nice. So. Jalen Green, we got a silver back here. Jalen Williams. Oh, Jalen Williams. He's one of us. He's... 
the thir- I have him as the third best rookie. Oh, okay. Is that a sleeveable? Person? Oh yeah. Tracy McGrady, T-Mac. silver. Unfortunately, I don't think silver's of a. Uh... Is this centered pretty nicely? It actually is. All right, so that's our best card we pulled so far. Yeah. These are the easiest cards to tell if they're centered. You can use one of their 17 borders and line it up. <laughs> no guessing here. Is one border longer than the other? <laughs> Kevin Love, Kelly Obre. Ubre. Ubre. He, he's the guy that. Uh, Ubre. <laughs> The accident on the what? moped. He wasn't supposed to be riding those BMX bikes. He signed the contract. Then he got hit on the bike and pretend he got hit walking. Remember that? Yes. yes. <laughs> He's like, uh, I wasn't riding a bike. Monte Ellis. Oh, man. I was thinking Monte Ellis when he got hit by the scooter. Oh, so I sad. got clipped once when I was biking across the street. A freaking quick Domino's delivery boy. <laughs> was like in a hurry and he clipped the back like i was passing and he came out too quick and i had it passed completely and he clipped my back tire and i flung over the handlebars <laughs> wow. sorry to like, laugh at that it's like i was like 13 years old i was spooked it's like what the heck did he stop damian lillard Let's see if you're okay dwight powell contavious caldwell pope and a d wade did the guy hit and run you or did he stop and see if you're okay yeah, I mean, I think he rolled down his window. And I was kind of, you know, I, I was a kid, so I was like, "I'm fine." Yeah, and I just had like blood just gaping from my wounds. Oh man, you remember when I slammed into a light pole? Or no, you weren't there yet. Mm. That was pre staged at Florida. I was I was racing my girlfriend at the time at Florida to the gym. She was on a moped. I was on a bicycle, Ooh. and I went to. Uh, I went from the street trying to cut across the sidewalk to, you know, make up some time. And it went street, curb, grass, sidewalk. And so I popped my tire up, got my front tire up, got my front tire on the sidewalk. But then there was a gap in between the sidewalk and the grass. And so my back tire didn't pop up and slid in that gap got the speed wobbles and flung myself going about 25 miles an hour down this hill straight into a, uh, a pole and just got wrecked. And it was another situation where she came over and she's like, Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. She's like, Oh my God, look at your knee or look at your leg. And I looked down, I could see my bone, the chain. I didn't have a chain guard. And so the thing that the chain (laughs) is on those spikes ripped ripped into my leg and i have like a 14 inch scar down my shin of my right leg yeah oh my that was fun Lord. times all right cameron thomas kendrick nunn pascal siakam spicy p isaiah mobley the he's, a, he's i think he's the he's twin dece. or the brother of the other guy. i think he's dece sage these are not turning out to be what i thought they were going to be brother we need a paulo these are not turning out to be I mean, what's a rookie Paulo even going for? Silver? Like, what are what are we even doing? Silver here? numbered one to one. What are you talking about? <laughs> just a base, <laughs> just a base Paulo. It's probably like, probably like a three dollar yeah, car. Five bucks, but I still like to see it. Okay. Moses Moody. What about the silver back here, though? Moses Magic Johnson. Moses Moody had what a about fun the silver right here. Okay. Thunder. The Thunder. Chai. Rookie. Ooh. Giddy. Wait, no, this is not Giddy's year. Oh, Chet. Chet. What? That's a good card. Why isn't Chet on my list here? What the heck? That's a good card, Sage. Yes. What are you doing? Look at the centering. Chet Silver. Look at the centering. All right. I need to rethink my list here. How is Chet not on my list? How is Chet not on your list? He should be number two. He should be number Maybe number one. Ooh-wee. $50 card. Dude, what a purchase. Thank you, MJ Holdings. MJ Holdings. <laughs> MJ's the MJ go. MJ Holdings. MJ Holdings. MJ, the go to I think I actually. And the go to repackaging. 
I think there's a video that hasn't come out yet that I, I, I might have asked for MJ Holdings to go bankrupt. <laughs> Well, you got to go back and edit that now that we got a $50 uh, I check. might have to. What's a PSA 10, Chet Holmgren Silver? Because we're sitting that baby in. That looks centered perfectly. Let me see the corners. Oh, corners are mint condition. Um, You don't want to know, man. 250 bucks, 200 bucks. Let me see. It's big time. I mean, I don't want to know that. That's great. Yeah, because it's too, it's too high. I want that. You're gonna get too excited. I want a ten. We got a Chris Paul base and an Andrew Nimhar. All right, three hundred bucks approximate, approximately for a ten of that card. Yeah, that's 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 going in the PSA pot. All right. For, Have you sent your PSA cards? In? I I need a couple more, so maybe I, you need to send me that one. Yeah, maybe I will send you this one. Why was you he got some bangers, my, don't you over there? Why was he not in my list? Yeah, I do. All right, last pack. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Closing in on 10,000 subscribers. Help us get there by clicking the like and subscribe button down below. It is completely free. And uh, let us know what your favorite card was. <laughs> what was uh, what was your favorite rookie of this class? Because Sage didn't even know Chet existed. I got I to gotta rethink my entire list here. Respect the rookies, Sage. There's a Jaden Hardy. Was he on your list? <laughs> oh, he's number two above Chet. <laughs> <laughs> and we go out with a silver Grizzlies. Not a rookie. Going to be Dylan Brooks. University of Oregon. The silver rookies. And that's kind of how, honestly, that's kind of how Prism goes, right? When you open old Prism, yeah. is you get one card 15, that can make the whole thing. Yeah. You spent $45 and, uh, so there and you got one $50 card. The rest are all free. And if that's a PSA 10... Here, let me see that centering again. Oh, centering looks great, Sage. Centering looks great. Top to bottom, that's where we got caught on the CJ Stroud. It's a little low. Well, I don't know. That's low, too. Maybe they're all low. Yeah, I think it's fine. Let's send it in. I think they're all low. It's perfect centering. The PSA's got a Absolutely special. Absolutely perfect They extended centering. the special for April, so everybody, sixteen ninety nine. Get it. Get your cards in. Is that what I sent the last ones in? Yeah. I think I sent the last ones at eighteen ninety nine. Am I crazy? I think you're crazy. All right, might be crazy. All right, well there you have it, guys. A little MJ Holdings going back in time, opening up some 2022, 2023 prism and hitting a nice rookie silver. Whenever you can do that, it's always a good time. Thank you guys Amazing. for watching. We appreciate it, and. Uh, We'll see you in the next one. Great poll. Keep ripping the packs.